about to begin a historic event. This stadium that you see is not really a stadium. Today, the stadium is a classroom. This is going to be an educational lesson, lectures given by experts in Judaism about Judaism, in particular, the incompatibility between Judaism and Zionism. Many Jews believe, wrongly, that Zionism is either part of Judaism or is compatible with Judaism or is even the main part of Judaism. All of those are actually false. Zionism was created to negate Judaism. Zionism was created to replace Judaism. The differences between Zionism and Judaism are vast. They're vast and profound. The propaganda that the Zionists have churned out for the past hundred years have confused and conflated Zionism and Judaism such that when the average person walks down the street, he thinks that the state of Israel is the Jewish state, he thinks that Zionism is Judaism, and he doesn't know the difference. This group of Jews here are students of the students of the late Satmar Rabbi, Rabbi Yoel Teitelbaum, who was the greatest disseminator of the clarity regarding the difference between Judaism and Zionism. He understood it, he wrote a very big book about it, and he, more than anybody else, was able to communicate that to his students. It is important to review his teachings so that we can understand what our religion is about. According to Zionism, Jewish identity is political, it's national. According to Judaism, Jewish identity is completely religious. A Jew, by definition, is somebody who accepted the Jewish religion or who is defined as a Jew by the Jewish religion. According to Zionism, Jewish identity is political and it's defined the same way we define the identity of any nationals, as like a Frenchman or a Canadian. According to Judaism, Jewish identity is centered only around God and God's teachings, nothing else. According to Zionism, Jewish identity is centered around a nation state, which they randomly decided is the nation state that was created in 1948 that they call Israel. According to Judaism, a Jew is supposed to have certain character traits. He's supposed to eschew violence. He's supposed to oppose violence. He's supposed to be disgusted by violence. Even in the olden days when Jews had to defend themselves, that was considered nothing to glorify. Jews don't have military heroes. We have religious heroes. Our heroes are the righteous. Our heroes are the scholars. The heroes of the Zionists are the war heroes. The Jews have no national sites where wars took place, such as the Alamo in America. Jews are not militant. Jews are religious. Jews are, the way the Bible describes us, a nation of priests and a holy people. If people want to retain their Jewish identity, if they want to resist the propaganda that is churned out by Zionists and Zionism every day, then it is vital that they take proactive steps to defend themselves against it. Look, the Zionist propaganda is everywhere. We live in a world where every day this message that has been deliberately promulgated by the Zionists is fed to us. Israel, Jewish state, Israel, Jews, Israel, the Jewish people, Israel protects the Jews. It's all bogus.